another regret is just like wasting my time on other people. You, you need to be 100% before you can look for someone else. But if you're not 100%, you're gonna put all your problems on them or they're gonna put it on you. So just make sure you see all those red flags. If something makes you uncomfortable, if you're not in your peace, then just throw it away in your life. All smiles, champions. Welcome to Mind Elevation Health and Wealth. My name is Shira Dewan, and today I have with me a young entrepreneur, a young YouTuber, and a young music recording artist that goes by the name of Pro Ace Gamer. Pro Ace Gamer, would you mind introducing yourself? Of course. You know, uh, hello, I'm Pro Ace Gamer, everyone. Uh, 16 years old, you know, just a small YouTube creator on YouTube. Just trying to make everyone happy, have a good time, you know. Okay. What is the purpose of Pro Ace Gamer? My purpose was, first when I started, I was just bored playing video games, you know, just trying to make people laugh, to be honest. But now when I see people actually come up to me, they're like, hey, when the new video is going to come out? Or like, hey, like, when are you releasing that video? Like, it motivates me even more to keep going and strive to, you know, make people smile and just make them happy, you know? Did you ever think that you would be noticed in the way that you're noticed now as a YouTuber? To be honest, like, not even, no. Because, like, I have people who just go down the hallway and, like, say hi to me, and I don't even know them. Or, like, <laughs> like I know it sounds like a lie, but I'm, like, telling the truth. Like, mm -hmm. I would not imagine like, the amount of support I get from just people, like, the amount of people who are, like, just excited to, to hear about me and just know what I'm doing. And to watch your videos. Yeah. And so how many followers do you have, subscribers? At this moment on YouTube, I believe I have 958. Okay, and what is your goal long-term? My goal long-term is keep getting bigger and bigger, you know? Is there a number? There a number? I wouldn't really say there's a number. No, Just like 1 million, like, 2 million subscribers. It'd be like... I'll probably settle down once I have 30 million or something. 30 million subscribers. Yeah. I like that. We think big. We elevate yeah. our minds. I like that. <laughs> what is the funniest episode and the most viewed uh, episode? Tell us what that is. Okay. The name of it so that we can find it. Okay. So the most popular on my channel, it was, well, I'm going to go with, a video that was taken down. It was an old video about like a few years ago in 2020. It, w it wasn't really a video. It was just like a song of this artist. And it was taken down. But before it got taken down, it had like nearly 100K views. But now, if we're just talking about like what's on my channel, there's a video with 70,000 uh, 70, views on my channel. So why did the other video get taken down? Copyright. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because you were using music from another artist. It, it was a it was a rare rare song that a lot of people liked. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so they take it down. So now the the video that has seventy thousand. Yeah, it's about it's not even like ten seconds long. It's literally just a small clip of this other YouTuber like just saying something funny. And, and what I, is the name guess, of it? Uh, it's it's called Deji Suck Your Mom. Oh, okay. yeah. It's just him chanting it, and I guess like a lot of people liked it or something. That's all they. Yeah. So a lot of people watched it. Yeah, but like, if we're talking about like the funniest video on my channel, I personally believe it's one of my school vlogs because, you know, when me and my friends just hang out, we just, you know, just chill. We just be having a good time. It'd be funny. So you call them school vlogs? Yeah, I'd be calling them school vlogs. Okay, and tell them what school that you represent. For high school, you know, FHS. And, yes, sir. And where are we located? FHS for high school, you know. On the east side. East side of Houston. All right. So I did watch, and I do watch a lot of your videos. One of my favorites was the one where you are playing basketball. It's a basketball game. At what park was that? It was at Herman Brown Park. It was right next to the school, you know. Herman Brown school, Park. We'd be like, you know, let's just go. I hope have a good time. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, so I thought it was fun because I knew the the players that were playing and you do your own video edits right yeah and you had edited the video really cool like with the scores and all that <laughs> yes how did you learn how to do the video edits editing i started back in sixth grade and over time when you just keep doing like the same thing over and over you start exploring like new ways you could like be creative 
So basically over time, I just got more creative and I got newer software, like different apps. You know, I don't just stay to one. I try to use like everything I can. So, you know, I just got better. What's time. the best, the easiest software that you use to edit that works better for you? For me, it's CapCut right now because, you know, I do everything on my phone. So if my phone breaks, I can't record, I can't edit, I can't do nothing. But like, yeah, I just do everything on my phone. It's CapCut. Oh, CapCut. Okay. I've never heard of that. So you're also a recording artist and you have music. And I know you personally because you're also a poet in my heart because we had a poetry contest at Fur High School and you won the yeah. the poetry contest. Pro Ace Gamer won that. And it was an amazing piece. And so you are a rapper as well. You consider yourself a rapper? Um, not really a rapper. What do you consider yourself? Consider myself an artist. An artist. Yes. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's that mentality. So you are an artist and one of your songs is on Apple Music. It's on Spotify. It is also on YouTube. His artist name is the initials Pro Ace Gamer. So P-A-G. Um, and the song is called Talk To Him. Right? Yeah, that's it. You got it right. Talk to him. He's also on Instagram, and the Instagram is S3, the number three, TH dot 009. And then you'll see PAG underneath that if you find him on Instagram. And so tell us about your music. So, my music, at first, it just started as a joke, you know. <laughs> like, I, ne I never really like, took it serious. And I still kind of like don't take it serious, to be honest, because like it was always a joke for me to see like what I could do. Like if I was just given a beat and just try to like put my words on it, just try to make it sound good. But at first it just started off like with just me just messing around with some friends. So that, you were freestyling? I mean, not really, kind of, but like it was just like, oh, like me and my friend got in like a, an argument, like not like an actual argument, <laughs> but like, you know, we were just messing around and I would be like, right, I'm gonna make a diss track on you. And like I would drop one and it would just like be funny and, and everything. So yeah. do you have some diss tracks out there somewhere? Like, I mean, yeah, they're out there, but like, I took them all down. I still have them though. <laughs> I still have them. But, like some friends still still do have them. Well, we want you to put those back up so that we can listen to those. <laughs> they're just like very low quality and stuff. It's just low quality, like, yeah. but it still will be good content, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess possibly good content. Yeah. All right. So, what is the best compliment that you've ever received? Oh man, I received a lot. Like. Talking about my channel or just like just me? Just the best compliment. I've been giving a lot of compliments about just like my work technique, like how hard I work and like I try to make other people happy. Like I never like put myself first, to be honest. I always like try to put my friends first. So like I don't, I don't really know who gave me this compliment, but it was just like, oh, you just work too hard. And you deserve everything, you know. That is a good compliment. Yeah. Well, I'm going to compliment your laugh. <laughs> because one of the reasons that I like watching the videos that you uh, post is because you have, like, this signature laugh. I don't know <laughs> if anybody's ever named your laugh. I don't know, like, what brought it on. But you know that you have a signature laugh, right? Yeah, yeah. Are you going to do the signature laugh? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll do it. Okay, you got to do it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now, let me get ready. <laughs> because every time, like, I'm just casually just chilling and, like, people come up to me, they're like, do the laugh, do the laugh. <laughs> and I'm just like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, so the signature laugh, to me, I'm giving you a compliment. I love the signature laugh because everybody that is creating something, they have to make what they're creating different. Yeah. And I feel like that's what makes yours different. When you, when something happens, you just wait for it. I just wait for it. I'm watching the video and I'm like, okay, when's he going to do the laugh? Or, oh my God, there's a laugh. It's so adorable. So to me, something simple like that can produce like, oh, like I follow them or I want someone else to watch this video because wait till you hear his laugh. So I think that's awesome. Because like, basically when we're recording or I'm just like, see something, I'm just standing and I see something like stupid or funny happen, I just got to do the laugh. Just like, 
basically like what the lab is like trying to like implement it's oh look there's something stupid going on oh look look at that goofy thing that's going on over there and i'd be like <laughs> i just like, be laughing at it because like it's just so stupid and have you always laughed like that or is that something you created uh i think i think i started doing it in elementary i don't know why i don't know what i just started doing it i don't remember like if there's any reason but yeah i just started doing it and then like after like i found out like i went on youtube and stuff and this other like famous youtuber kind of has like the same laugh as me mm -hmm. like they could do like the sound and stuff i'm like wow that's cool because like i kind of like can do the same thing as them and they, they could do the same thing as me and you didn't know about them no i didn't know until, them. Yeah, yeah but you just it was just something that you done and yeah. then someone else does it as yeah. well but it's not you didn't know that they did it you just happened yeah, to I laugh just, the same yeah i just happened to do it and like yeah. now i got people come up to me like do the laugh do it like <laughs> you can't just do it right it has i mean to i know i can do it you can i can forcibly do I it i gotta do it again <laughs> <laughs> like, i could i could do i, I could talk in it like I talk could just, in it <laughs> no i'm not doing that <laughs> i'm not doing it. but like yeah i could do it i could do a lot i could like move it and like try to like make it sound like other stuff too you can yeah because like, you can't just do that right now uh yeah i can it's just like because the way like i do it i can move the air like it has it, i do it by my throat because like i could just well move. you don't have to do that because <laughs> now that you just explained it everybody's gonna want to hear it <laughs> <laughs> what is the message and the music that you create the music i create it's just let people know how i'm feeling you know i don't really i'm not really a vocal person but when i could like show and like i could i get to express my feelings in a song i just let everyone know how i'm feeling for real you know have you used writing in your music as a way to relief yeah a bit yeah is I, it kind of like a therapy for you it's a bit of a therapy because i've gone through stuff like in the year or just, you know, anything. I use that to cope, basically, you know. A healthy way to cope. Yeah, I just let it off and I'm back recharged, pro is gamer. Do you have a journal or a writing book? No, I mean, I really just have notes in my in my phone. Your phone notes? Yeah, I should be writing. Everything is on your phone. You don't have a physical... A physical piece? Um, no, not really. I don't really have a physical piece. Do you see yourself taking the notes that you've written and maybe publishing a book with it? I've written books before, believe it or not. You have? <laughs> yes. So you are multi-talented. Yeah. So did you get them published? No, like, it wasn't really, like, serious books, to be honest. I wrote, like, nine books, ten books, something like that. Then I I would want you to publish them. <laughs> Can like, you publish them? I don't have them no more. Where are they? They're in the trash. I, no way! I'm, like, I wanted to find them so bad, but I couldn't find them. Oh, my gosh. So, lesson <laughs> learned. So, this is what I'm encouraging you to do because you have a lot. You're extremely creative. You know that. Yeah. You're extremely creative. You're ex extremely talented. And one of the reasons that I created Mind Elevation Health and Wealth Podcast was not just for me. Uh, of course, it's my passion project. But it's so I can leave a legacy for those in the future so all of that work that you've written it can be used in the future for someone else that might need it because of your talent because of your creativity so please don't ever throw away your creativity yeah. again and if you have things written in your phone notes i would advise you to transfer them over have them printed out yeah. and use them because you are going into bigger and greater things and when you get those 30 million <laughs> followers yeah. they're gonna want more from you yeah. and you have that and your creative outlet whether it's writing whether it's creating a video someone needs it because you told us in the beginning that you do this because you like to make people laugh you like to make people happy that's also part of healing yeah. laughter and happiness actually heals yeah and that is good for our mental health and may is Mental Health Awareness Month. So what you're doing, the videos that you create, what you put out there, someone could be having a bad day, click on Pro Ace Gamer, and now they're having fun yes. and they're laughing, right? Yes. And that's what you told us. That's your purpose, yeah. right? And that's your passion. Yeah. So I am encouraging you 
as your teacher, <laughs> as an educator, to publish and save all of your works. Of course. Because sometimes in our mind, you said it, sometimes our mind gets in the way. In our minds, we might have imposter syndrome, like, ah, that was just silly. I was just goofing off. It's no big deal. When it is an actual masterpiece. Yeah. Even Maya Angelou, one of her poems that was like one of the best poems, she never even thought it was the greatest. But the whole world did. So don't ever underestimate your work. Yeah. That's, uh, that's another thing I have to work on is because I always, um my work, I always try to make sure it's perfect. When I see like the smallest error, I want to like throw the entire thing away or something. And like, it's just, I need more like sources from uh, like people to like tell me how they feel about my work. Because mm -hmm. I just want everything, all my work to be perfect. I want it to be good. I just try to work on everything, you know. But that's the mind of an artist. Yes. Yeah. So as an artist, because you said, I'm not a rapper, I'm an artist. Yeah. As an artist, that comes in all forms. An artistic being is a creative being. So that's writing, that's creating, that's editing, that's that. music, that's everything that you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So mm -hmm. download the music. Yes, Download the music. So what is one of the biggest things that you regret? Low key, not gonna lie. One of my biggest regrets. Okay, so one of them is is writing is um but throwing away those books. I, I still wish I had them to this day so I could show them and read them. But they're not gonna lie, it was pretty good. They were good. They were like a it was a Bloody Mary series. And I, I made them in like four fourth grade. It was like a series and it was Can like, you recreate them? I can recreate them. Okay, I, rem well. I remember the first ever book. Like, I remember it. Okay. Like, another regret is just, like, wasting my time on other people. Like, you know, like, you think you need, like, a relationship or something, but you don't really need any of that stuff. You just need yourself. You, you need to be 100% before you can, you know, look for someone else. Right. Because, you know, if you're not 100%, start dating something else, you're going to put, like, all your problems on them. Or they're gonna put it on you. Yep. And like So you, know, you should be healed before going into seeking a relationship. Of course, yeah. Or working towards healing. Of course. Or if like you don't really have a real reason to date somebody. Mm -hmm. Like you're just dating them for no reason. Right. That's another like, you know, just thing to look out for. Just make sure like you see all those red flags. If something makes you uncomfortable, like if you're not in your peace, then just throw it away in your life. Yeah. I like that. So you're hearing that from a 16 year old <laughs> and we have, I have an episode, five values of a, a healthy relationship as mind elevation, health and wealth episode. So now you're hearing it from pro ace gamer, of course. who is also, his real name is Seth. Seth. <laughs> Seth. He's saying even in relationships, find your hundred percent self first before seeking relationships. And some of the questions that you ask people in your interviews, give us some examples of some of the questions that you ask when you're making your videos. So like the questions, it, it would just range for anything to uh, all sorts of categories. I'd be like, oh, what's your, what's your most like favorite thing about fur? Or like, how do you feel about fur high school? Mm -hmm. They'll say something very crazy. That I can't repeat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they are these videos are not always child friendly. Yeah, no. Not little children friendly, yeah. but they are funny. If you're like me and you love comedy, you'll find a lot of humor in the videos. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, some of the questions are inappropriate, but they <laughs> are still funny. They still make the 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 questioner like the person who's receiving the question laugh. And yeah. they'll think about it. They'll be like, it's an awkward question. And the most responses like that you could get from asking those type of questions are like, the funniest. So his blog is he'll even go to principals. He'll even approach a, a principal at a school, one of our leaders at the school, or he'll go to a teacher at a school that's not expecting him. I think I'm in a couple of the <laughs> videos. That's how I found out about Pro Ace Gamer, because a student was like, Miss Moody, I saw you in a, a video. I saw you in 
Pro Ace Gamer video. And I was like, what video am I in? And what did it? And I was like, who is Pro Ace Gamer? And they're like, oh, it's Seth. And so then I started following. And then I see the art and creativity and the good in anything. So I'm not the type that's going to get angry or mad about it. I found it as very creative, very artistic. And I follow and I share and that's the reason we're interviewing Pro Ace Gamer today. Of course. Yeah, so that we can get those 30 million um, subscribers. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, it's, it is hilarious. The questions are funny. The, the reactions are extremely funny as well. So I like those. What's next for you? Next for me, it's just for the summer. I'm going to just keep trying to get bigger, you know, in terms of growing my channel and trying to make more people laugh because now that we're not going to be in school anymore they're going to be like oh they're not going to see pro gamer for like another four months or three months and so are you going to stop during the summer no okay I'm not, I'm not. all right so you're going to keep making content i'm, I'm keep going they're just you know for the in real life fans you know they're not going to see me physically mm -hmm. and they're not like probably not going to be part of my videos you know me and my friends we still hang out you know we're probably still going to make some videos you know you know, random vlogs, you know, something like yeah. that, you know. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing the content, the of summer content. Of course. All right. I think I've known you since you were probably... A freshman. A freshman. I had you my freshman class virtual. Freshman year, we were virtual. Yeah. Because we, because of the pandemic. So we were virtual and you were online. Yeah. And I think you won one of my workout challenges, oh, yes. right? The first ever one. Yeah, so I wanted to get my students outside and being active. So I challenged them to download the Map My Run app. And all my listeners know from Mind Elevation Health and Wealth episode, creating healthy workout and eating habits, I wanted to promote my students to do a workout challenge. Well, Seth took on the challenge. He downloaded the app and he won my first challenge. And I can't even remember how many miles that he did to win the challenge. I don't remember either. But he won a $50. It was like a PlayStation gift card. PlayStation <laughs> gift card. Because he got to choose what gift card he wanted. And he is a pro ace gamer. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, he chose the Play PlayStation gift card. And he was able to use that gift card. And he was working out. Do you still take care of your health? Oh, yeah. I still take care of my health. I'm always, like, active like physically and I can never just be like sitting still for a long time I always got to get outside and run but I remember when during the pandemic when your uh, your challenge was going on I'm like that's perfect because I gotta get out and start doing stuff I can't just be sitting here so I'm like and plus I get some money like get, you, there was a reward there was a reward so that did help motivate you right yeah that motivated okay. me okay so mind elevation that's what we're about so if you were to speak to a younger person or maybe somebody your age or maybe it's just someone that you want to motivate to just follow their goals follow their dreams do what they're passionate about because essentially you are doing what you're passionate about correct yeah 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 so what advice um would you give as far as mind elevation and motivation so basically when you come across a problem just don't let it affect you too much you know what i go by is stoicism i just keep going no matter what no matter what's the issue if there's like a big issue or something i just don't try to think about it as much because if you like take a little small issue and you just you make it something bigger in your mind. You see, like, we're not really, like, going through the problems as much as you would like to think about it. So when you go through something like that, like, just don't think about it too much. Cause... So you say stoicism. Yeah. All right. Not everybody knows what being stoic is. How would you describe that for you? For me, just having the ability to just keep going, like, no matter what. No matter what anyone tells you, no matter what happens to you. You just got to keep going. Whatever you want, whatever you want in life, you just go for it. Just like brush it off. Brush it off. I'm not going to let this stop me. Like we suffer more in our minds than we do in person. I love that. I love that. Yeah. And so you've uh, overcome a lot of challenges in your life, right? Yes, I have. We don't have to get personal, but is there I mean, anything that you want to <laughs> share that you've overcome, a challenge that you've overcome and you keep pushing through? I mean, a challenge that I have, like... Obviously, like, my family's been through some challenges, you know. Mm -hmm. We've made it through, and then, I don't know, like, just here at school, the show, the social environment, you know. We just, we just keep going. 
Like, no matter what happens, no matter what, like, people tell you, I just keep going for real. Or what do you wish you could say to your younger self, like, being where you are now? I still consider you to be young, but... Yeah, but I'll just tell my younger self to just start earlier. Or just, like, you know, try to get a head start above everyone else, because I know when I was younger, I really wasn't doing nothing, to be honest. So I would have just tried to motivate that little young man. Try to tell him something, a good message. Like, just start working out or something, you know? Yeah. Get your weight up. Get your weight up. <laughs> you consider yourself an athlete? Uh, I mean, uh, to be honest, I'm, like, all right at some stuff. But I'm not, like, an athlete, athlete. I'm not, like, uh, I never mind, I am an athlete. <laughs> what do you consider yourself to be athletic? I saw your boxing video. Yeah, I'm okay at boxing, you know, I'm not good, but, you know, I'm not trash. I'm okay at it, you know. I haven't won every match, but I haven't lost every match either. Right. Are you into just regular boxing or mixed martial arts or? Not just boxing. Just boxing. Yeah, and just like. Boxing. Are those your boxing gloves that you used in that video? No, they're like my friends. Your friend's boxing yeah. gloves. Okay. That was a cool video too, guys. There's a boxing video. I can't remember the name of that one. What was that called? EAG versus or something hey, i have a couple of them yeah on youtube i saw one it was pag versus d it was probably d, d. Yeah. yeah with d'angelo yeah with d'angelo yeah that's that's funny. another student that was a funny one yeah especially when he fell so you can watch that one on youtube <laughs> as well what makes you feel like your best self what My moments self. make you feel like you're you're at you're your best self whenever i upload and whenever people comment they're like this is a good video or i like the video like whenever just people tell me something that makes me like makes me feel better, like just like the smallest compliment or comment, yeah. Like someone sliding up on my story, but like it was fire, like yeah. that that just makes me feel way better. So I think your love language is probably words of affirmation. Yeah, sure. you like words of affirmation. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then so you know that mind elevation, health and wealth is about elevating your mind. Yeah. And I like to call my listeners champions because I think that we're all champions when we have a champion mindset. So the question that I like to ask anyone that I interview is, what are three major mindset beliefs that make you a champion? Make me a champion. So basically, I've already gone over one, which is stoicism, you mm -hmm. know, always gotta maintain the, you know, the top G, yeah. <laughs> you know. I but, like that. Also, I just, um, man, to just think about, like, that I'm the greatest. The like, greatest. Like, whatever I'm doing, I want to know that that what I'm doing, I'm going to try to be the best at. Yeah. And I could try to do it better than anyone else. I love that. And then one more mindset. One more mindset. And that makes you a champion. Just never be down about nothing, you know. Just, just it's not worth being sad. It's a, it's a time waster. Don't waste your time, you know. Why, why are you being sad at home when you could just be outside making money, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Don't be sad. Okay. Anything else that you would like to add, or anything else that you would like listeners to know, um, as far as following you, how you like to make people happy? You always make me smile. I cannot remember. He actually is a student that lives up to everything that he's saying right now. He's always happy. He's always motivated. He's always about being the great at whatever he does. Uh, he wins competitions. And I've known him to win competitions since the ninth grade, <laughs> virtually. He won a poetry competition. So he is the greatest at all that he does. So he's actually living up to what he's saying that he lives up to. So what are you going to leave our listeners with? I'm going to just leave them with, just get ready for the future, you know, Pro Ace Gamer and myself, my friends, everyone who's with us, we have way bigger and better plans we had planned, you know, it might like not seem much as right now, but in the future, I can see it all. That's right. 30, 30 million, 30 million followers mm -hmm. is what we're we're pushing towards. So uh, please make sure to go to YouTube Pro Ace Gamer. That's P-R-O-A-C-E 
G-A-M-E-R, Instagram, S3TH.009, P-A-G, which are the initials for Pro Ace Gamer. He's on Apple Music and Spotify. Download the song called Talk To Him. And I couldn't play the song on the podcast (laughs) because it does have some vulgar language in it, but it is really good music. And that's P-A-G on Apple Music. And the song is Talk To Him. I am going to put the links to the YouTube. I'm going to put the links to the Instagram. I'm going to put the link to Pro Ace Gamers, Apple Music and Pro Ace Gamers, Spotify link, all in the podcast notes. And I am now on YouTube. So Mind Elevation Health and Wealth is now on YouTube. All you have to do is search for Mind Elevation Health and Wealth. And my link to my YouTube channel will be on the podcast notes if you are listening to Apple Podcasts or if you're listening on Spotify, just click on that link and follow me on YouTube as well. Thank you all for listening. Pro Ace Gamer has been a joy. And so we will see you next self-care Sunday. Good luck. The following clip is a recorded video of the poem written by Seth, aka Pro Ace Gamer, the artist. It was a social emotional learning poem relating to self management and self control. For these kids with emotions they can't express, they got families, jobs that make them stress. Gotta keep my kids so they won't be depressed. People always ask me, they say, Why are you so happy? Because I'm great, I determine my fate. No matter my weight, no matter my color or height, I still shine bright. Nobody bring me down, they can't turn off my light. They say how I manage, I say that I'm famished. Even when I have anger, I don't do damage. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>